Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, happy New Year's also. Um, couple couple things on today's list. Uh, first, um, tomorrow is a regular full class schedule. So again, if you are a 5 a.m.er, come on in to the 5 a.m. class. If you're a 6.30 p.m.er, come on to the 6.30 class. So it is a regular class day tomorrow and then the rest of the week will be regular as usual. All right, uh, next thing, CrossFit Open is starting in roughly about 45 days or so, February 16th. So if you are interested, go ahead and get signed up for that. Uh, another thing, also remember, uh, with WillPay, make sure we're still signing up for the classes that we're planning to show up to. Also, one more, another reminder, if you are not going to make that class, make sure we unreserve ourselves for that class so other people can reserve that spot. Uh, one more thing, again, remember, 30 minutes before the class, if no one is signed in or registered for that class, the coach has the opportunity to leave. So, for instance, if you are planning on coming to a 4.30 class or a 5.30 class, make sure you sign up 30 minutes before that class because if there is no one signed up by 4.05, 4.10, or even 4.02, uh, that class, that coach has the opportunity to leave showing that there is no one reserved for that class. So please do that. Uh, so it saves us both, us, the coaches, and you, the athletes, uh, time. Uh, next thing is I want you guys to welcome Mr. Mike Kelly is going to be, start shadowing me tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So for those of you that know Mike, tell him good luck. For those of you that do not know Mike yet, we'll welcome Welcome him. Hopefully he gets through this whole process, which I think he will. But again, welcome him and wish him good luck for the for the coaching process. Uh, next is tomorrow we are starting our open prep cycle. So from tomorrow to basically February 16th, we're going to do an open cycle of movements that we as the coaching staff and the owners thought would be in the open and then other things that we thought from our past experience would be also in the open. So if you see multiple things and multiple movements during that week, don't be surprised. We purposely did that because we're trying to get you guys capacity for those movements, moving better, getting better pace and all that good old stuff that we all worry about during the open. So with no further you know, time, I'll go over the workouts and the strengths for this week. Uh, tomorrow, we have a back squat 15-minute E3 mom with three back squats and three seated box jumps. The back squats will start roughly at 50, uh, 70 70% 70 of your one rep back squat. Okay, uh, The coaches will explain what we mean by seated box jumps. We want to be explosive. We want to stay away from using too much of our arms. We want to be more explosive in our hips and our feet and our legs. All right, and then for the workout, this is a very openish workout. So again, it is body weight, but it does hurt. It's four rounds for a time or a 10 minute time cap, 30 air squats, 30 good air squats. Remember, uh, hip crease below the knee crease, and then we're opening up all the way to finish our squat. And then line facing, 15 line facing burpees, a newer movement that we haven't done. So I'm excited to show people that and Excited to get that workout for tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, we're gonna work on some touch and go power snatches, exactly what we need right before the open. We're gonna do 10 at 50, 10 at 55, eight at 60 and eight at 65 are our one rep power snatch percentage, okay? And then we're gonna use that touch and go skill in our workout where it's a 12 minute AMRAP, three power snatches. Hopefully we can still stay unbroken for all 12 minutes six wall balls, and then nine VFs, all right? Uh, Wednesday, just in the nick of time, we're gonna work on some more double unders, a couple of other cues that we came up with that hopefully help you guys get maybe crossover double unders, triple double, triple unders, all that good old stuff. Uh, we're also going to add a five minute EMOM skill session in there to help you guys work with that. So it's gonna be 20 seconds of work, 40 seconds of rest. Uh, workout, five rounds, or four minutes a round of 80 double unders, 20 single dumbbell box step overs, and then 15 handstand pushups, all right? Again, 
Whatever time you finish all three movements in, say it takes you three minutes to do it, you get a minute of rest. And we're gonna repeat that for five total rounds. Uh, next, Thursday, is we're gonna move some heavy weight. We're gonna do a clean complex, all right? 15 minute running clock, we're gonna do one full squat clean, three front squats, and then a jerk of your choice. It could be push or split, okay? What is going to be the determining factor for that work, for that strength portion, portion is your jerk, okay? So just keep that aware, be aware of that. And then this is probably one of my personally favorite workouts of this week. For time, 14 minute cap, we're gonna do one going up to 10 shuttle runs. Each shuttle is gonna be 25 feet down, 25 feet back, which is one rep, okay? And then you're gonna do 10 Russian kettlebell swings. All right, again, 14 minute time cap. So interested to see how you guys do on that. Uh, Friday is going to be our long workout. This is also another favorite one of mine. It's three rounds of eight minute AMRAP. You're gonna do four rounds within that eight minute AMRAP of five total bars, five box jump overs, five double dumbbell thrusters. You're gonna do four rounds of that. Whatever time you have left of that eight minutes, you're gonna do max calories, okay? And then we're, we're going to rest, all right? And then you're gonna repeat that whole process for two more rounds, all right? Again, coaches will explain it. Uh, I know it's a lot of moving pieces, so we'll go over it the day of. And then finally, Saturday is a partner workout. It's a little different format than we've ever done before. It's 16 total, rep, total rounds between you and your partner. Uh, each partner is going to do two rounds of each movement. Again, the coach will explain this. Each time domain is a two minute window. So how this works is at three, two, one, go. Uh, whoever starts first is only guy or girl. Guys are gonna do 12 calories. Girls are doing 10 calories on whatever machine you want, whatever time you have left in that two minute time domain, you're gonna do alternating uh, single overhead lunges, and then your partner will go, and then we'll switch the movement for, to, for five, rounds five through eight, and then switch the movement for nine, nine through 12, and the last 13 through 16. But again, Saturday is gonna be super fun. Hope, hope to see a lot of people out there on Saturday. I hope you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Uh, see you guys. See everybody tomorrow.